Hi, and welcome to Divine Cuisine. Chef K here. We're talking today about our bread from page 289 called Fizel. Fizel. It's kind of like a baguette with a little bit of tapered end on it. It's delicious. It's made from what's called a poolish, and we'll teach you what a poolish is as well. Here's a cut piece. See, it's all nice, beautiful, nice and crispy, ready to go. So, let's get at it. So, our bread begins with something called a poolish. Poolish, it's a fermented starter. It contains flour, water, and our active sourdough starter. Let's mix the sourdough starter in the water. And then into the flour. Stir that up so it's as smooth as possible. To pre-dough. The Italians call it biga. Something similar to biga. They're not quite exactly the same, but and that's all you got to do for your poolish. And we're going to cover that. Let it sit at least six hours, better overnight. So we have our poolish working to make our ficelle from page 289 here in Divine Cuisine. Make sure you get your copy. It's available wherever books are sold. Amazon, write us. We can get it to you. But get one. They're good books. You know, we talked about the poolish as being the heart of the bread or the character of the bread, right? And it's really important to understand that character is what makes a person. Character is, is who you are. It's part of your personality. Your personality is made up of all kinds of characters. This is a Christmas season. We go into it uh, thinking of the nativity scene and the baby Jesus and what character he was. You know, something about a baby, it brings joy. No matter what culture, no matter where you're from, the baby always brings joy. But the baby Jesus, as a character, set out to do one thing, to grow to be a man, to die on a cross, free you from sin, and set you free from all the works of the enemy. If you believe in God, you believe in the devil. And he's out there to destroy you. Why do you think God? You know what? The only person who hates babies is the devil. He's tried to destroy them. From Moses, he destroyed babies. Uh, from when Jesus was born, he destroyed babies. Why? Because he knew that child would grow with power. The character of that child would be the character of God. You ever think what the character of God is? Well, it's many things, of course, but Three predominant things. God is omniscient. He's omnipresent. And he is omnipotent, right? Think about that. Omnipotent. Why? That means all powerful. Omni is everywhere. Powerful. All powerful. What's the problem you're facing today? You know, God is his character to solve that problem. He's all powerful. Just think of what we call him. We call him the Almighty. Why? Because there's nothing that can stand before him. When Christ died on the cross and rose again, he's not on that cross anymore. I know they show pictures of that, but he's not. He's a victorious person who crushed Satan. Satan was a sign, has a sign, uh, devils and demons to destroy you. John 10.10 10 says that he comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. And he has it in that order. Kill. He wants to kill you at the moment of conception. Abortion, the biggest scourge a man has ever seen. One child killed in North America every 15 seconds. Why? Because the devil hates them. He knows if they grow to find out who Christ is in them, they will destroy him. 
So he wants to destroy them first. But God won't know that. God's almighty. He's all powerful, right? The almighty. Psalms uh, 33, 8 says, By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Their starry host by the breath of his mouth. He spoke the word. Remember, we talked about this. You speak the word, only the word, and the word has power to create. So as we're creating our breads, God created heaven and earth, and he's created the, the solution to your problem when you go to him and see that the problem is smaller than God. Let me repeat that. The problem is smaller than God. It may look great to you and huge to you and big to you. It might be something that everyone else is crumbling under, but God is almighty. He can take care of that. So we're going to look at the three others, the two others rather, of who God is, his character. But let's get back to our bread and we'll show you now how to mix it. And what we do when we mix it. And we'll get a little bit more knowledge on this topic that we're talking about today. So remember, in our next video, God is on your side.